Hi everyone, we are Team Peaky Blinders and I'm Shairi and this is our project on anchor-free object detection using multi-level feature pyramid networks. Object detection is fundamental yet a challenging task in computer vision which requires the algorithm to predict bounding boxes with a category label for each instance of interest in the image to tell what we're trying to achieve. The detection pipeline makes use of at least three major modules, the backbone, the neck and the loss heads. In this project, we aim to combine the best of these modules to implement a single stage anchor free model that is able to make detections with accuracy at par with anchor based implementations. We go on in depth with every module in the process of the presentation. Now I'll hand it over to Beshawi. In our anchor free model, we have used multi-level feature pyramid networks to generate 10 semantic features. Object detection models face a class imbalance problem due to more number of points in the background class leading to false positives. We use focal loss to tackle this. Two hyperparameters are used to overcome the foreground background bias and the imbalance of easy and hard classifications. Coming to the localization loss, we regress each pixel in a feature map to target bounding boxes by computing the generalized IOU loss. A third head called centerness head has been added in this model. This is a measure of centerness of the positive sample location inside the bounding box. A centerness mask finds the location of target and logits with maximum skew from center. I will now hand over the presentation back to Shairi. Given an image, we pass the image through the backbone to generate the feature maps. Specific feature maps from the backbone are then fused via upsampling and concatenation to generate the base features. The base feature is then fed to a multiple U-shaped module or simple FPNs where each FPN represents a level of depth and generates several feature maps with different scales. The base feature and the largest output of the feature map of the previous FPN are fused together and they are fed to the next TUMs. While the shallow FPNs provide high-resolution features good for regression tasks, the later FPNs provide dense semantic features good for classification tasks. Now that we see the three levels of the TUM, the feature maps for each FPN are extracted and concatenated. This concatenation happens across the channel dimensions and is done according to scale. These are then passed through the fully convolutional layers to focus attention on important channels only. The output of the fully convolutional layer is passed to the loss heads for computing the three kinds of losses and backpropagating them through the network. We perform several experiments and evaluate our results on the Pascal VOC 2007 test data set. First, we combine the single shot detection anchored model with the FPN and achieve an MAP of 75.13. Next up, we perform the second experiment combining FCOS with FPN on the same dataset and achieve an MAP of 73.13. We notice that even though we make use of anchor-free models, we achieve accuracy almost at par with SOTA anchored models. For our third experiment, we combine the SSD anchored model with the MLFPN. On doing so, we achieve an MAP of 0.7988, which is an improvement of 4.75% over the model we had combined only with the FPN. This goes to show that indeed the MLFPN is able to extract better semantic and spatial features with increased depth in the network compared to just using the FPN. Lastly, we test the MLFPN with the uh, anchor-free FCOS model and we achieve an MAP of 0.6898. In conclusion, our anchor-free model is able to achieve good performance with multi-level FPN. However, to improve the MAP further, we must look deeper into the network to better assign the object boxes to different levels and experiment with number of levels as well. We also want to improve the attention mechanism by the fully convolutional layers to focus on channels that they benefit from the most. Thank you.